this is Adam again. Thank you for stopping by my channel today. I do hope all y'all had a chipper and blessed day. Now today I'll be doing two VRs for y'all. The first one will be for the great channel of Return to Collecting. And Mr. Darren over there has hit his 1,000 subscriber milestone. Congrats and well deserved on that, sir. And the second one will be for Mr. John over at 3D's 80s Kid. He's doing a little celebration for his second year anniversary on YouTube. Uh, putting out a lot of great content too, by the way, my friend. Uh, so let's go ahead and flip this camera around and we'll sit there and uh, get into the uh, request for these VRs. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and jump into this VR for Mr. Darren over at Return to Collecting. Uh, he has two uh, portions of this. I'm going to do the shout out portion first, and that is the shout out three channels with less than 300 subscribers. I actually got six on my list here. The first one is going to be Hodges 1455. The second one is David M. Third, Southern Fried Cards. And the fourth one is the Card Store. And the fifth one is the Battery, Carl Root. And the sixth, but not least, is Mr. Warren D. and the CLE. All six of these channels are very awesome and great people. I will leave the links to these channels down in the description of this video. Please take the time to go check them out. And as well, Mr. Warren D. and the CLE just hit his 200 subscriber milestone. So he's doing a nice little giveaway as well. All you got to do is comment on that video. What is your favorite card in your collection? Since I'm already doing a video, I figured I'd go ahead and whip this bad boy on out and share mine. It is this beautiful Hank Aaron rookie card, autographed as well, and is certified via JSA. So that is my favorite card in my collection, Mr. Warren. Hopefully you like that and enjoyed that, my friend. All right, on to the second portion for Mr. Darren now, and that is to share a card that you would like to pick up within the next 12 months. So for me, I'm big about the right card at the right price and the right eye appeal. So I typically try to keep at least three to maybe 10 cards that I'm kind of chasing as gold cards, you know, a little bit bigger, higher end type cards. And uh, of course, I got a few mini little PCs I got going on in like a Kobe collection, Chipper, Braves, Hank Aaron, uh, Patrick Mahomes, Steph Curry, you know, some Lakers players, you know, as well. Uh, but uh couple of little sets and so on and so forth but the cards that i'm actually trying to chase down as my bigger board gold cards are going to be these for my patrick mahomes collection i love optic i think it's my favorite set in uh, basketball and uh, football so anytime i'm trying to chase one of these modern rookie cards down of a football or basketball player it's going to probably always be the optic i like it better than the other brands for some reason just proper eye appeal, and I love the rated rookie uh, emblem on them as well. Love the chrome look of optic. But I'm chasing the rainbow of Mr. Mahomes, so I need this red and yellow. It's probably going to set me back price point, as you can see here in a PSA 9, uh, about 850 to 950 And as well, I still need the lime green as well. So that's a little bit more expensive of a card, but still not out of the realm to be able to chase down within the next 12 months of 1350-ish probably to 1450 and now on to like my Hall of Fame rookie card uh, run that I'm trying to uh, do the next one on that bucket list is Mr. Clemente uh, and I'm probably going to chase down for my eye appeal range that I like plus what my budget can possibly afford is going to be like maybe a PSA 3 or 4 and uh, here's some examples of some 4s right here on the uh, eBay it looks like in the low threes to maybe the mid threes, uh, but those are all best offers. So I'm probably looking at uh, maybe being able to snag one. Ooh, twenty five hundred dollar range on that, and that's a best offer. So definitely I uh, like that uh, price point. Uh, all right, and uh, as well, I love to collect at least one, you know, vintage cool card from every Hall of Famer, and uh, there's none more prettier than the red portrait of Ty Cobb, in my opinion. So that is uh, one that I'm trying to chase down as well. Uh, probably going to be an authentic to possibly maybe a 1, 1 1.5, just depending on if I add a little trade in with it as well, along with some cash. But uh, those are my gold cards to possibly try to pick up within the next 12 months. And 
that should wrap up the VR for Mr. Darren. Uh, congrats again, my friend, on 1,000 subscribers. What a milestone, and uh, what an awesome channel you have. Uh, great guy you are. I uh, appreciate you letting me do this VR for you. And now for the VR request for Mr. John over at 3D's 80s Kid. And his request is basically for us to talk about our YouTube journey. Uh, what got us into YouTube, uh, what our first video was kind of like, how we did videos back then, and to how we do videos now, how our collecting has changed, how YouTube maybe has affected our collecting, and what does YouTube mean to us today. Kind of an overall synopsis of what our collecting and our YouTube journey has been since we started YouTube. And as well, he said we could do a stump Mr. John challenge. So I would like to do Mr. Roll Titerman as my channel. That might not be one that Mr. John is subscribed to. And as well, I'm going to do another little bonus shout out because Mr. Paul Smolowitz is actually doing a little VR challenge. And uh, he's a big into TTMs. Been commenting on all of our TTM uh, videos for a long period of time now. And I thank you for your support, Mr. Paul. And I'd like to throw something back at you as well. So a little bonus shout out for him. All right. So uh, now to the YouTube journey video, <clears throat> a portion of this. So my first video basically was me ripping into a box of absolute memorabilia, a Panini product, you know, and I uh, wanted to sit there and start trying to rip into some blasters on YouTube and pull that big monster hit that would kind of maybe make me famous or epic or something like that. Uh, LOL, I guess. I don't know what I was really doing. I just wanted to start making videos because I thought it would be cool, fun, get to share my collection, get to share my rips with other people and uh and uh, sit there and uh, build some friendships along the way and uh wow have i ever built some friendships along the way i can definitely tell you now that is basically the end all be all for me if it wasn't for the friendships on youtube i probably wouldn't even be doing youtube anymore you know i can kind of quote catalog my collection via you know all kind of electronic devices nowadays instead of trying to quote do it on youtube right but uh, it's about the friendships, bottom line. And uh, Mr. John, I appreciate you doing this, allowing us all to talk about what YouTube means to us and so on and so forth. It's definitely has been a healthy part of my life, you know, and so on and so forth uh, to get to do this and uh, share my collection with others. Don't want to keep rambling on about that, but uh, that's what it is, you know. And uh, my videos have always been, you know, no, no frills kind of videos, just right to the cards and et cetera, et cetera. And that's... A large part because of my personality. I'm sitting there by nature an introvert. Kind of got some speech impediments sometimes that don't <laughs> always work out to my betterment uh, to try to make, uh, you know, uh, videos and so on and so forth. So I just try to be straight to the point. Love my collection, love my cards, and just wanted to share them with folks. And hopefully people will enjoy that and so on and so forth. Uh, uh, but, uh, once again, I just wanted to take the time to sit there and shout out these two awesome uh, VR requests, plus the bonus one with Mr. Paul, and uh, shout out to Warren's 200 subscriber uh, request as well, and those other awesome channels that I shouted out. All the links will be down below. Please take care, stay chipper, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye now.